Hello, this is Dr. Daniel Murtaugh. The title of my presentation today is Nocturia. A good night's sleep is a terrible thing to waste. A frequent need to get up to go to the bathroom to urinate at night is called Nocturia. Most people should be able to sleep six to eight hours without having to empty their bladders. Nocturia is a common cause of sleep loss, fatigue, mood swings, falls, and aggravation. Nocturia is often thought to be a urologic problem stemming from prostate obstruction, bladder instability, urinary tract infections, or decreased bladder capacity. But it is also a symptom of other medical conditions such as diabetes, obstructive sleep apnea, congestive heart failure, renal disease, or hypertension. A brief anatomy and physiology lesson is in order. Think of the bladder as the body sump pump. There is an inflow, urine output, a receptacle, the bladder, with a float valve, the sensory nerves. The float valve triggers the motor, a bladder contraction, that pumps the fluid through an outlet drain, the urethra. We need to look at all of these components when trying to figure out the cause of nocturia. It is well known that children make two to three times more urine during the day than at night. As an adult, we do just the opposite. We begin to make two to three times more urine at night. It is not uncommon to experience normal voiding during the day, only to be bothered at night. There are a number of functional reasons why this happens. The one I plan to focus on today is one that you may not have considered. Gravity. Gravity causes blood to accumulate in the lower extremities during the day. In order to get the blood back into circulation, it has to be pumped back to the heart where it can go to the kidneys. When we are standing or sitting, our hearts are above our feet, so it has to be pumped against gravity. As we age, our heart and vessels get weaker and it's harder to do. When we lay down, our legs and heart are now on the same plane, which allows the blood to circulate horizontally without fighting gravity. The heart takes advantage of this and can pump the blood back more efficiently, thus increasing renal blood flow and urine output. So, our urine output doubles or triples. That means being asleep for four hours is like being awake for eight. This is worsened in patients with congestive heart failure and hypertension where blood tends to stay in the lower extremities more commonly. As urologists, our goal is to check bladder capacity. We want to make sure that the out bladder outlet is normal. In men, that means the prostate gland. And we need to check that the sensory nerves are intact. What you can do? You should avoid excessive fluid, especially after dinner. Avoid caffeine and alcohol. Wearing support stockings can help and elevate your feet during the day. So in summary, an office visit, $25 copay. Urologic workup, subject to the 2005 Medicare rate, discounted of course. A good night's sleep, priceless.